our hands up to you, Lord. this morning, Lord. Praise God. Good morning, church. Good morning, people of God. Good morning, those of you that come to drink from the well of God. He is here to nourish your soul. I want to ask you all if we can all stand to our feet. Philippians 4.19 says, God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. So be in joy that he's taking care of you. In the name of Jesus, praise with us. Amen. Amen, church. Sing it out. Beauty in my brokenness. This beauty in my brokenness. I got you, love, step. This freedom, though, you captured me. I got you on the step more. Yeah. 
give God another hand of praise. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord our God.
faithfulness, Lord, and your grace and your mercy forever and ever. You are faithful, Lord. And that's why we gather this morning, because you are a faithful God, a good God. And we give you all of our praise, all of our worship. Let's continue to worship the church.
you so much, Lord God. We want to give you more and more, Lord God, of all the praises that you deserve, Lord. Let that be true today in our worship. And we praise you in your mighty name, Jesus, and all of God's people said, amen, amen. You may be seated. Amen. God is good. Amen. Welcome everyone in the house and those online as well. Welcome to uh, the first Sunday of the month, amen, of March, amen. And uh, it's Communion Sunday, and we give thanks to the Lord at this moment. We're going to continue in an attitude of worship as we receive our tithes and offerings. I'd like to call the uh, 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 usher, excuse me, to come forward and receive that for us as we continue to praise him, amen. of the Lord with great joy in our hearts. What a great song. Let's pray for our tithes and offering. Father, we come before you with joy, Lord God, just bringing these tithes and offerings to you, Lord, out of obedience to your word. We ask that you would bless your people who joyfully bring these tithes to you. We ask you bless the church, Father God, that uh, you get it to the needy, Father God. We ask that your blessing upon our children too, our Sunday school ministry, Lord, bless our children that are growing in you. We also you bless Pastor Paul today, Father. Bless the word that comes forward. Today is a communion Sunday, Lord, and we ask that you just prepare our hearts and minds just to do uh, to remind her of the great uh, sacrifice you made for us to have salvation, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor for this morning's service, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Brother John. Thank you, worship team. God is good. Amen. Sing joy to our souls. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Philippians 4.4 4 says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I'm going to say rejoice. Amen. Can we give God a hand of praise for his faithfulness? Amen. Just a couple of announcements before Pastor comes and shares a word with us. Uh, I'd like to uh, dismiss the Faith Vision kids to their classes. God bless you guys. For those worshiping with us online, just prepare the elements. And then afterwards, Pastor Paul will lead us in a time of uh, communion. 
after the message today. Just a reminder for our youth, this Monday is our youth Bible study, Zoom study. Uh, that's going to be at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Amen. Also, this Friday coming up, the 10th, is the uh, food ministry, uh, help, helping hands food ministry on the 10th. Amen. So that's all the announcements for today. Let's welcome Pastor Paul as he comes and shares a word today. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Thank God why we are here. We're still here. We are still here. We love you. We praise you. We ask your Holy Spirit to be with us today. I know without your help, we cannot do anything. According to thy will. Hallelujah. Bless your people. Open our ears, our hearts, so that we can receive the message. Help myself, O oh God, to rely on the deliverance of thy Holy Spirit. I want to thank you today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to share this morning in this scripture, and I want to read it from the book of Revelation, chapter 3. Revelation, chapter 3. As I study through this book of Revelation, especially to the seven churches in Asia Minor, in Asia Minor, it draw my attention to just to this, even though those other churches are very important for us to see, to watch what the Lord has said to them at that day. But it draw my attention to this particular uh, church, the church of Sardis. Just go in the Sardis. In chapter 3, it's only six verses. even six verses, but I believe it's very deep and very important the things the Holy Spirit warning or caring about this church. And I know at the same time the Holy Spirit speak to this church, listen, church in Los Angeles. It speaks to us too if you be careful and listen carefully. I will read. And to the angels of the church in Sardis write the word of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a reputation of being alive but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of God. Remember then what you receive and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake Wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what the hour I will come again to you. Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled it or defiled it, their garments, and they will walk with me in white, 
for they are worthy. For they are worthy. The one who conquer will be clothed thus in white garments. And I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Oh, draw me back again to the last verse, six. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Just faith vision, tongue and assembly of God in Los Angeles. If you have an ear, listen what the Spirit of God says to us today. Time go for tonga ngai ke follow follow ko ni. Now I want to throw my attention at ko ni in a very important fact. He follow follow a long Maria ke sias. You're sitting here in our church. The Spirit is speaking at the same time to us. If you open your eyes and say, yes, speak to me, Holy Spirit. Not only to the church. 2,000 years ago, beyond. But speaking to me. If you open your eyes, if you open your heart. I tell you, you're going home blessed because you hear the Spirit of God speaking to us. The meaning of the word sadness escapes escaping ones or those who came out. Escape from what? Came out of what? I know he's talking about this church here. And that's why the verse, the first verse said, You have a name that you are alive, but you are dead. You have the name that you said that you are the people that came out from sin or came out from the world, came out from death, escaping. Life eternity. But then the first verse say, you have a name, did you alive? But I saw and I see that you are dead. Right there, church in Los Angeles. The spirit said, you're coming to the church and you know you they were belongs to Christ, but they somehow in us he said we are dead. Even though in the fourth verse it says there is still some, they not defiled their clothes, their common. But it seems to me here, even the church is still alive, but the, most of the people, most of them, they are dead, they are dying. Walking dead. Their body is here. But there is something that God looked down and see this church here. They are dead. You have a name. You are alive. But you are dead. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 6. But see who he is 
indulgent is dead while she is living. Koyo gumoi ke fa kafia Mario e kakano o gumateya lolo tonga o ke moi beya. That's what the spirit meaning here. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. You may give your life to Christ, but you, the way you are, you living, pleasing to the flesh and things of the world, mostly you, the church. I'm talking about the church. You're sadist. But that's why your spirit says, You're living in the flesh, so you're dead while you live. As we all know, before Christ came to save us on the cross, the Bible said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The first Adam gave us death. But thank God for the second Adam that gave us chance. Church in Los Angeles. The spirit says, will you listen to me and check our life today, church? But I'm asking you, if this verse is here and this file of, if, if your life is mostly heavy, concerned about the tokanga like, I met my man, I got the tokanga, I met my otwa. I weigh you. And he was very light. mate o mamani. How is it going? You can judge your life by yourself according to the word. Are you alive or are you dead? Are you in the world mostly thinking and live like the world? That's what the word, the word said, what the spirit said. You are dead. Just like the prodigal son also. Prodigal son went in his own way, leave his father. You know, this is what Christ said. At the time when we recognized that he was wrong, it's time to go home, he repent. And he said, ask God, ask God first. I was sinned against you and especially to my father. When he came home, his father, you know, the, the son, the first son was complained because you, he prepared a feast for the for this troubled son. You heard what he said. My son, which was dead, but he's alive. He was dead. At the time, if you come to Christ and you left Christ and you are in the world, just like this prodigal son, calling you people. Have you recognized? Dead. And I'm calling for people out there. They might, they might say, I already have Christ. I know the way to heaven is Jesus. But where are you? Are you in God or are you in the world? You are dead. The spirit said you are dead spiritually. Your spirit is dead. You're still alive physically. But you are dead. The second part of that verse I'm sorry, the second Timothy 3, 5. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power. Turn away on such people. And all of them have a, have a God blame every one of them. No one perfect. Every one of them. 
So it means to me to tell the churches, the whole Christian church in the world, that your church have something that the spirit is. You think it yourself and how you you live to the Lord, how can you give fair? You cannot lie to yourself. Because God so looked down heaven into you. When I read this and I search my heart, I say, Lord, I know I'm not perfect, but show me just like David in Elotu. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Now, I have a fool like a lover man do way back 14 years, 40 years ago. Then God started to point to me things that I never asked Him to forgive. I forgot. So I ask you to do so. Things that we never ask God to forgive us for. Most of it are told Tonga. Well, I mean, growing up, going to church, and probably we think all the way, and we, okay, I am okay. I'm right. I'm in church. I can make it to heaven. I ask you today, check it again. If you have not received, hallelujah, the point, Jesus Christ into your life, he is still dead. He is the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. There is no other way to heaven, to the kingdom of God. There is no other way to heavenly kingdom or living in life with God. But to accept it, the sacrifice that Christ has done for us. Have you asked and you invited Christ into your life? If you did not ask Christ to come into your life, do it today. Do it now. Just whisper a prayer. Just pray. Open your eyes or don't open your eyes. But mean it from your heart. See, Forgive me of my sins. I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm a dying sinner. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. And I thank you, Lord. If you say things like that, yes. Mean from your heart. You are a child of God right now. The second part of the verse, the Holy the Spirit said, Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. That are ready to die. Things that still remain, but they are ready to die. Me okay toy. Me okay toy. Can you only okay toy? Can far out big and mate. So we don't know if we told, but we are okay. But the spirit said, check our life. But check it. Hallelujah for the Holy Spirit. He knows his church. He loves his church. He loves you and he loves me. This is the way Christ loved his church. He don't leave us alone until the day that we come to heaven. Before we are all completely dead. The Holy Spirit speak. Sometimes 
It's going to be there, going to be there. And then, the mark will get tokanga ki ai. Tokanga ki ai, lotu ki ai, fast ki ai, study your word, come back to it. Hallelujah. Oh, just, don't just leave it alone. Don't make it get tokanga ki ai. Watch. And strengthen it. Fama lo hi ia. Mahalo pen na koi, koi lotu, vai vai, fra au ke mate ia. Strengthen it. For Malohi. Hang a go stark mo mesak mo up ten go. We time na hoko maya me akati na dol ke fuk na dol ke da ne. Oh, don't set break music in the bank. Stop praying to your God, but worship these idols. They went back and do it three times. You don't just quit or do it just once like before. You do it. Three times. Do it more, my brother. Church in Los Angeles, do it more. Whatever you need, we need you to grow more. I mean, the strength in your life. Do it more, more. Three times, maybe more. <laughs> Study your word more. If you wait until coming to church to hear the word, no, start at home. <laughs> at least a scripture a day. If you have more strength, yeah, morning and evening. This is what the word said, the spirit said. Strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. If you don't strengthen and do things to move on, it will stay like that and go down slowly and disappear. Now we are, church is hot to the Lord now. Church, do more, hallelujah. Feed your soul in the word. Pray more. Strengthen it. Your life in the spirit. And that's the only way that you can strengthen in the spirit is to be, feed yourself in the milk of the word. And then you see yourself, you are strong, no more weak. Matthew 26 verse 26 verse 41. I was blessed when I see people coming to ch church with their pen and little note. Because sometimes I say, uh, we say a very important scripture. But uh, you know, when you go home, you forgot, you forgot which scripture, what, what's the text? When you write, you go, oh, you're all right. And you go home, went home, and then remember, well, boy, I remember what the pastor was giving us a scripture, but you don't know the text. Don't remember the text. Write down, go home, and read again. Matthew 26, verse 41. Le omolotu. Telian alova ekimotolo yayai. Hallelujah. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. This is what Christ told his disciples. Before the trials. And he told those disciples, pray because it's too heavy. I'm in trouble. I, I cannot. Because he's human. Christ was a man. And even though he was the son of God, he's also a man. He was born by a woman. And his flesh is too much for him. When you go through trial, they're going to whip him and hang him on the cross. It's too much. He asked his disciples, can you watch with me? Tell them to pray and when things to strengthen. And he came back. <laughs> they are sleeping. Again, he went back. Don't you, you cannot watch with me for one hour. Church. How long you you pray? Two minutes. You see what Christ said to this time? Not even one hour. So I ask you, please bring up, increase the time maybe to pray. Pray a little bit more. Hallelujah. Watch and pray. 
If you don't watch and pray, you cannot strengthen your, your spirit in your living to the Lord and your relationship with God if things are still way the same every day. You must move on increasing. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Your enemy is the devil. Walking about like a roaring lion. Looking for who he may devour. Moleo. Tokanga. Alert. By what? The only thing is you can be careful when you study the word and you learn from what Christ has tell us here to do. Strengthen. They go, who go, tau fili go, fu devolo. Kai go ki devolo, go fu devolo. Tau fata tai hen, he for for lai mi. Go fu lai yone. O kungulu, go time kungulu e lai yone. Go longa e longa amu i ni fia tau taka tau. Fears on the leo in the world. Kau tala mai katiki tau tole, o te tau mana paheki ai. Kai ken lava ya kai koe, kai ken lava ya ukoe. Kai kapa tene ma, kapa tfa kapa vai kia, kai ken lava ya ukoe, kai tene follow pe koe. Hei tau tane tala mai, follow pe pa li aki magi tua. Hoko ma kaki tukia uko te vai vai ya au au pito. Au koe ke molu au au pito. Do not surrender to what he's lying, lying to you. He's lying. He's a liar. The devil is lying. Every time he tell you something, he say, devil, you're a liar. You lie to me. He don't take a word from the the enemy. You say, look at back and say, you are a liar. And say, if you know it's a liar, go, go away from it. Don't look back again to the liar. Because if you look back again, you're going to be lying like him also. <laughs> so remember that his character is coming to catch you. He's lying to everything he, that the devil one is talking to you, telling you is a fake. It's a lie. Let's go on before I'm, I won't complete this. Ready to die. Verse 2, still pay in verse 2. For I have not found your work perfect before God. That's another thing. Holy Spirit looked down to the church and said, I have not found your work perfect. We want our work to be perfect. Not to the world, to the, what the man said, but to God. Amen? And this is our, we strive to be perfect to the eyes of God. A lot of time, take our eyes from it. Perfect. No. Go perfect. Now, if I can not tell a lot to go to the house, I can not tell you to go Fight it perfect to move out. Fight a move up. He got Sean. He got Maria. He got Paul. He got to the perfect. The guy can move fight not only. Go yeah, he just agony. Strive to be perfect. Be how how he have him out. Perfect to God. He got the time to perfect. He got to firm out. He got to go now to it. Get perfect can now do. Pega bau ke get perfect dia ke kakai odua. They are in some place else. They are in the same in a different planet. Kaku toton ke mui ke odua ko time perfect ke odua ko kakai ay odua it's perfect to them. Ko time dah ko fihalak ita mui ke odua we must strive to be perfect. First Peter. Chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, 
laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking. As a newborn baby desires a pure milk of the word, that you may be grow. Kung ang himay ng fimaw ay getaw perfect, lay aside ang ahi ang hala kung ano itaw muwa ng fuay. Heg mo ni la for flat. When we run the race, there's a lot of lot of things that kind of weigh us down. They pull us down from trying to run fast in the race of to the kingdom of God. A lot of things in the world. Heavy to us. We cannot run faster. Because there's a lot of burdens in our heart and our mind. Make it heavy. heavy. And it will slow us down. It will run here at work. Ka hormonian e ngah yang hala kon lawen for for. Keriak. Keriak e fai kovi kotope. Moe ka ka ko to ape. Moe ngai ma lua loi ko to ape. Me mehe ka ko to ape. Me fe kei kei ko to ape. Ka mou hori lahi. O hange ko e fana wiki. E hua hu ta e ka ka. E folo fola. Ke mou mou ui ai. Me e peia. The only things that we can live for God strongly. According to the will of God. If we never the holy day, strive to drink from the milk of the word, you will live like the children of God. Hallelujah. I come to verse number three. Remember, therefore. How you receive and heard. Remember, therefore, how you receive and heard. How you heard and received. Heard what? Heard the word of God. Receive what? Receive Christ into your heart. Receive the word of God. Receive heaven. Remember, he's talking to the church now. To the people, supposedly, you will make it to heaven. And the Holy Spirit said to them, Remember, therefore, how you received and how you heard. <coughs> our ears, the Holy Spirit talking to our ears and talking here how we receive to our heart. He tells me here, I'm thinking about here. How do you hear the word? And how do you receive? And I fair fair home. First time you live for the Lord. How did you receive Christ into your life? How did you uh, uh, receive eternal life? And when do you how do you hear? Who do you hear to? And then you receive. I was thinking about something very important. Your testimony. My testimony. Thinking about the first time that you met the Lord. The first time that you hear and receive Christ into your heart. I ask you today. Do you have a testimony? What is your testimony? What is you say? You know, testimony is a very important thing. To the time that you receive Christ, the time that you repent. But I have a fatonga, a him fatonga, a see a hoya. See a hoya. The day, the day that I met Christ, the day that Christ lifted my life. Save me from hell to heaven. That day. See Ahoya. See Ahoya. That morning I And he took my sins away. That day. 
He was very important. He was very important. That's why he was dead. They forgot that Christ, that they received the word into their heart. And they received Christ in their heart. And they forgot about it. When you forgot, yes, you forgot Christ. You forgot how important the word of God for your life. How important, the importance of Christ has come in and save you. You should be dying and you should be going to death. But Christ come and save you, save me. No wonder what the word of God in Revelation 12. It says, the conquer, we conquer Satan by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Remember, after Christ left and his disciples went away, First thing they do, we learn now how to preach the word. Like what I, what I do here now, is to preach the word to you. But the disciple went out and just testified <coughs> about Christ. And tell them what Christ has done on the cross for you. And the people say, people, wow. And they cry and they wept and they say, sorry. We hang you, Christ, on the cross. We are the people that hang you, that crucify you. You are the one that save us. And they accepted them. People say Christ saved them from their, from their deathbed. And their testimony touched some people and bring them to Christ. And they get saved. When I look at this here. For I have not, sorry, chapter th uh, verse 3. Remember, therefore, how you receive and heard. Let me ask Paul. Paul, the apostle. To testify or to say the testimony about how he received, heard and received Christ. And I'll take the place of Paul who trying to say good to us. Paul the Apostle, not, not, not this Paula, but talking about Paul the Apostle. So, this is to me, try to make it short. Paul, what is your testimony about Christ and how you receive, how you heard and how you receive Christ into your life? I heard that a lot of Christian people call Christian. They are preaching. The man like Jesus. Jesus saves. He's the, the, the king of the Jews. And you know we don't like him to be another king. To replace Caesar. So I went to the, to the temple and asked the chief priest. Asked him. Give me authority so that I can go and die. All the Christians and uh, bring them to jail and, or even punish them because I, we don't like them. So I went on on my, with this authority here, went on to go on my road to Damascus to find all Christians there and bring them to jail. So I went there. On my way, all of a sudden, I saw a light. I saw a light that... It touches me, and I fell to the ground. Just the light shone to me. I fell to the ground. And I said, he said to me, Saul, 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 why are you trying to stop? That's not the right word, but try to stop my people from spreading the good news. I said, who, you, who are you? 
And the voice came and said to me, I am Jesus. Did you Oh, Did he the word said to me, Jesus said to me, go into the town and I will tell you. And I'll tell you someone. So he went, I went to the town. One day I had three days. I don't eat. I don't do anything. I do anything. I do. I pray. I pray. Pray. Because I want to open my eyes. All of a sudden, a man, his name, Ananias, came in, laid his hand to on me and prayed for me. And something like a scale of fish fell up for my eyes. When I wake, woke up, they said to me, I'm, you are chosen by God to do his will. And even the disciples of those days didn't like me and said, no, he's a murderer. He's our enemy. But God said he was chosen. Since that day, I'm here to preach the gospel and I, I'm going to all over whatever I can do. This is a little testimony of Paul. You can tell from there a very important of this, this, this testimony is the Bible says his testimony, your testimony. I hope you remember the first day says like Paul, remember. Last one. The testimony of the God that was in the prison that watches that watches uh, Paul and Silas when they were in prison. And this is his testimony I'm trying to say. One night I know, I heard they said to me I will bring to you those two uh, convicts, those two Prisoners here, a worse prison to you to put in the center jail. Center jail. Then I put them inside and then I put my lock their feet and hands in there, lock them in there. I saw that they were already hurt because probably they were punished before they brought him there. Evening comes in the midnight. They stood up, those two, and they sing, and they praise the Lord. And regardless of their hurt, but they pray and hurt, the, the, the uh, prisoners start to get mad because they are in the middle of their sleep, waking up and pray. But all of a sudden, they cool down. They cool down and listen because they know those two. They mean praying. They praying to the Lord, to the all of a sudden, earthquake came and shook the prison and break the foundation, break the, the chains of their feet, and the, they locked their hand, break open, and the door of the, of the prison was open. And myself also, I know that I'm going to be I'm going to be dead because all my prisoners are left without me. I'm still here. So I took up my sword and tried to kill myself. And when I was trying to kill myself, I heard a voice said, don't do anything to yourself. Don't harm yourself because we're still here. And I said, what? So I have trembled in my heart because I know those two, they are God's children. They are belongs to God. Look at what they, this is the result of their prayer because God sent down this earthquake to set them free. If the, there must be my almighty God. So I rushed to them and said, Sirs, what shall I do to be saved? And Paul said to me, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved in your household. So I believe that night what the, this holy man said to me. I take them to my house. I wash them. I clean them. I put medicine in there. Wound, and then we eat. Then I share the word to them. Then they share the word to me and my family. And we all went and be baptized. 
after that, they re released me. Amen. You can see how important the testimony of a people that are saved. They're telling exactly what God can do for anybody. Just like the word say. We are conquer the devil and the enemy by the word of our testimony. And the blood, the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Remember, if you don't have a testimony, I have you to remember. Maybe you're not saved yet. Maybe you're not met Christ. It's all different. Some people, they were saved when they fall in trouble. Call them from the uh, bed, from the dead bed. Uh, bed. So different. I wish one of these says, I will ask you to come and testify. And you see, it will touch a lot of people from what you say, things that are impossible to man, but God, nothing impossible to God. Let's go on. The verse that I quote earlier, Revelation 12 and verse 11. Continue on. Hold fast. They allow Maria to hold fast things that God gave it to you, bless you. Hold fast. Hold tight. Come here, go more day, because you kind of not care about it. You lose, kind of lose tight. I say, hold tight. Book a kemao ho pare. Now, by fake wo ave kasi ata. Hold on tight. You will not have more than that. You will not have more than Not only that, but repent. And I may go in your door, no, no way. Will you, people, today, if you find something in your life, when you ask the Holy Spirit, repent, ask. Holy Spirit, I ask you to forgive me. Just the simple word. But you are good. That the one in my age. Because make you perfect in the sight. Make us perfect in the sight of God. Okay. Then about verse 3. If you will. If you will not watch. I will come upon you. And just like a thief. And you will not know. What the hour. I'll come unto you. Kapote kitalangata. Ikai te kifaya ni. Wakea laumari. We all live in a time We are living in the last days, amen? We all believe that according to what happened, what happened in the world, we know we are going somewhere. We are going to the end. And we are expecting Christ coming soon. I forgot what I said. I told him, I forgot I I'll come to you like a thief. And you don't even know the hour and the time I come. Why are we are here in church? We are children. We want to go to heaven. We don't want to go to hell. But the thing is, a warning from the Holy Spirit today. Remember, hold on. Hold on to my to the message. Like a thief in the night, and you do not know. We come to church all, all our life, and then we miss that. We miss Christ when he comes, take us home. Whew. Hold on, tight. Verse 4. You have few names in Sardis who have not defiled their garment. 
to her fever. Now, the Holy Spirit turned to talk to the few, to those few righteous, to those few that not defile their common, those few perfect. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. They are those. Those, they are not dirty or not defiled. The pure in heart. Look at their neighbors are, are dirty. They are, I mean, the laundry, and you say, dirty is dirty. But it's not the neighbors is dirty. Your class is dirty. His class was dirty. That's why he, he thought. The same thing with your heart. Pure in heart. If your heart is pure, is clean, that you look at everybody's clean, even though they messed up your life and love and they may do things bad to you. He said, look at them and smile. Everything is okay. I mean, leave that to the Lord to take care. But don't mess that. Up. Don't leave that in your heart to be a trouble to your life. Everything will be good. If you have a pure heart, you see God. You'll be with God. Thinking about God. Because your mind, your heart is pure. Hallelujah. First King 19, verse 18. You have few names in Sardis who have not defiled their garment. Webeka kaiyai, no we how how of it. Ketano go ni says story in the Bible when Elijah ran away from Ahab. And sees Baal. And thought to himself, I'll go hide because I'm the only prophet that live. God came and said, why do you run away? Why are you hiding? He said, because I'm the only one that left. God said, no. I saved myself 7,000 prophets. They never kissed Baal. They never bowed down to Baal. Yet at the time you think there is no righteous where you live. God still have people to save. So, church in Los Angeles. I know it says here, there's few, there's few righteous. Maybe you, want, you are one of them. I hope you are one of them. We are working until a time yeah, myself and David wish that we have a church, even though, I mean, that less, that less dead, but more pure, more righteous. Come on, give the word of God a hand and say, Lord, hallelujah, we thank you. I want to be in the group of righteous. Yes, God's spirit is talking about those righteous. Next one, they say, they shall walk with me. Talking about the people, they do not defile their coming. First, this is a blessing. The Lord said, I will walk with me. They walk with me in white. For they are worthy. You are going to walk with God in heaven. And the reason says here, 
because you are worthy. He ku ke tau koe, ke ha? Tau koe to call the son of God. Tau koe ke ha, o ke tau koe, ke ka ever mai tui, he ku ha? You are pure. You are worthy. Those they not live according to the word and to yeah, in the world, in the flesh, you are not worthy. Kai ke ke feu nga koe, ke bura nga o tua, kau ke feu nga koe me poto e taha koe ke fie mawe ke tau. I don't like to talk about it now, but I will talk about that later, sometime. But you are worthy. We are worthy for the kingdom that Christ has already prepared for you and me. You are walk with me. Hallelujah. A lot of time I saw our king came in with his fafeao, walk with them behind the king on a mountain. And I said, it's good privilege for you to do that, Cloud. But one of these days, my friend, you're not walking for, with a king here and there, with anybody. You're walking with the king of kings and, and lord of lords. If we be righteous, so here going turn dirty our heart, our mind with the polluting the things of the world. But be righteous. The only way to do that, having the Holy Spirit to sweep our heart, mind, soul every day of our life, make it perfect. Not only that clothes with white, walk with him. Next part is, and I will not blot out your name from the book of life. First, you walk, we walk with him, with him in the kingdom. Second, your name, every Christian that accepted Christ in their life and they live for Christ, their names written in the book, in heaven, book of life. This book here is not belongs to a church here on earth. It belongs to God in his kingdom. Only in him. A lot of churches write the name of their member. It's okay. But those is not count at all. It will burn one day and done. No record for the church. Only this book is still in heaven. <laughs> and that's, that's what we need to be there. Your name. Is your name is in the book of life? Is your name is in the book of life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can just say to you, not because I'm the pastor, not because I've been saved for a while, not because I'm Paul, but I am the son of God. I was cleansed, delivered by Jesus, forgive my sins, and I know my name is written in the book of life, this book. But I want to make sure, church, that your name, your name is the book of life. That's the only way, pure heart. Because you are in Christ now. I live purely every day. Your life, you know. Don't hold on to it. Don't let the devil steal your joy, your blessing. Not only that, God said here, if you walk with me with white in the kingdom of God, in my kingdom, and your name will be there. I won't take out your name from you. You will leave it there. Your name. I will call you one of these days, but your name is there. Uh, Revelation 21 and 27 says, your name will be written in the book of life. No defile or abomination or lies. Nothing unclean or detestable or false enter the kingdom. No, my, that I love me.
I will confess his name before my father and before my angels. This is the blessing. Son of God will say, Father, Father God, here is Luciani. I could tell you. There's no quite going up our way. I go, oh, hinga. I feel my aching with horror to home. You are pure. I'm glad to be there. That day he will confess me. I don't work for it. I don't work for it. I don't work for it. I know he is. He's mine. And it's every day I ask God, search my heart, my mind. Because I don't want to miss my reward. I can't obey and I feel a confession he won't get. Therefore, whosoever confess me before my, before men, him, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. Don't be shy, ashamed of the name of Jesus to show yourself that I am a believer, that I love Jesus. Don't be ashamed of it. Because you tell the world, I love this Jesus. I love him. If you do that, tell me I'm afraid of him. We have to confess. Every time we call for, for people for, for prayer, maybe you shy to come to the front because with the camera will take you all over the world. People will see you. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be ashamed of coming to the Lord because... There is a blessing if you want to confess to the world that Christ is Lord in your faith and he will confess you. He's not, Christ is not ashamed to confess your name to his father. He's proudly tell you because you love him on earth. The last one, verse 6. Who he has ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to his church. If this is his church, listen to the Holy Spirit. Amen? Try and learn to do this. Because he loves you. He's not telling you if you, if you do it. He said, listen to what the Spirit says. Church, we are talking here to a church that the meaning of his name is alive and well, but God looked down from heaven. It's opposite. It's dead. We don't want to be there like that. All of our life, we are religious. We, are, we love God. We go to church. We, but we don't want God to look down and say, you're dead. But good thing that we listen to this warn to this church so that we can get ready. Amen. We all see here the reward of what we're going to have in heaven if we get there again. Father in heaven, we thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you for delivering this word to, our, to the people that you love. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for opening their heart, their mind, their spirit to receive. I thank you for those out there that they listen today. Let them do something about it today, Lord. He's, you're speaking to them. I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for today. Meet their need. I pray for the second part of our service, oh God, that we are going to have our communion, the bread and wine, I mean fruit of the vine that we are going to receive. It represents, Lord, your body, your precious blood in your body, the body of Christ. What we think is important because you warn his, his, your disciples at that day. Do this every time when you eat. Now we are going to receive the bread and, and drink the fruit of the vine. We remember you. 
we remember your word to your loved one, to your church. In Lurcia. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray if we receive this bread, this communion today, I bless the bread. Bless the bread. Tapoki ma koi. Okay, tapoki. I bind the koi. Fruit of the vine. If we drink it, kabau ka fange gui ai infirmity se mong ai mo uyo hange kame ag love ga for fly on ni. Heal us, Lord. Heal us from all these iniquities. Heal us, infirmities. I want to thank you, Father. Tuke hok mauloto ke tapoki mauloto ahan. Bless our heart today also, as we receive the bread and drink. Hallelujah! The precious, your precious blood today wash away our sins today. Let us eat and drink. Remember, receive it to our pure heart today, and I will thank you, Father. I want to thank you, Lord, as our brother to serve us today. As you, you receive your bread and the fruit of the wine, call it and say thank you, Lord, for still giving us a chance to remember you. Because your word remind us today. Remember, remember, remember what you heard, what you received. As my brothers serve us today, receive and hold on to it before we are going to receive it. Sacramenti, Mantuyen, Cabago Totago, who gave look the Mao Christ, Togota, Wataga Sacramenti. We like Sacramenti to beg the Kai Mimi Passes, but Sacramenti Kai to my Tadis is Christ, no eggman of Hanami. Yes, you zoom out. So you receive and remember what Christ done for us. Hallelujah. Hold on to it. We are going to take it, but take it together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Precious Lord, thank you for the sacrifice that he has done for us. Now, we're receiving the bread and the fruit of the vine. I shall ask you, brethren, take the bread and eat. Take it yourself. Remember the precious body of Christ that was shed, that was bruised for you, for your healing. And I taught ya, the more I could take it, receive it. The other hand, we have the fruit of the vine. A drink it that night, and eat. Christ said, "I drink it. Remember of me. Remember what my precious blood." The only one that can wash away the sins of the world, including you. Receive it now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. With a heart of thanksgiving, say a prayer. Whisper a prayer or loud prayer, whatever prayer. A prayer of thanksgiving. Thank God. 
for sending his son to die instead of you so that we can have eternal life. We want to thank you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. Thank you for your word today for us, for your people. I ask this in the name, the powerful name of Jesus. And everybody say, We can all stand today and as we close out our service, continue to be in an attitude of worship. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your blood. Thank you for your blood, Lord. It is through that, Lord, we overcome the enemy. Test the Lord.
Father, today, may you be glorified in everything that we do and say, Lord God, today. Be with your people today, Lord God. Fill us, Lord, with your power. Strengthen us, Lord God. Cause us to be watchful as your word reminds us, Lord God, today. Father, that we would be worthy, Lord God, before you, Lord Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, of the things that we've done that were not pleasing unto you. We thank you for your word today, Lord God for us to be watchful, for us to strengthen, Lord God, our walk before you, Lord. And we give you all the glory and the honor through your son Jesus' wonderful name and all of God's people said, amen and amen. Can we give God a hand of praise? Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, church. Greet one another. Great to see you. Have a wonderful day. Amen. God bless. Everything come out to no money, no power. Jesus, I'm out of Jesus, first, everything come out.